it is my great pleasure to present to you the scariest, eeriest, most monstrous Valentine story you will find this year. Ooh. I even brought out my special ring. Is that my ring? Uh, no. And can you please say hello? Oh, hello. Are you here for the Valensteins? Hmm. Hmm. What does that even mean? Hmm. It means I am suspicious. And why, pray tell, are you suspicious this time, Maleficent? Because clearly I see the monsters and you know, I'm very pro-monster. Oh yeah, I do know that. Ah, of course you do know that. But then, why, why are they holding that thing? Ugh. You mean that heart? I can't even look at it. It's, it's well, it's a Valentine's story. Oh, I knew it. I knew there had to be some catch. You can't just read a terrible, horrible, evil, monstrous story. No, you have to all mess it up with gushy, mushy things like. Ugh, uh, uh, uh. Are you saying love? That's what I said. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. <clears throat> yes, I am going to read Valentine's, but I mean, it's not just a regular Valentine story. Well, obviously, there's a monster involved. Right, so it's a monstrous version, so maybe, maybe, maybe you might like it. Hmm. I think I won't, but thank you for offering. Okay. Well, you know, you had to try, but I feel like she's going to love it, even if she doesn't want to admit it. Valentine's! A love story. And Ethan, the author, has dedicated it to my step mummy and real daddy. Get it? Get it? Oh! It was a cold, dark night. Perfect for scaring. But Fran had something else on his mind. Oh. Of course, Vladimir had to know what Fran was up to. Because here they all are over here practicing their scares, the boos and the blahs and the woo and the hiss and the grrrs and the boo hiss blah mwah wah ah. And they're all working hard, but Vlad can't help but notice that. Dee, 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 dee. Fran's over here on the side? Huh. I mean, you and I can clearly see what he's doing, but. Hmm. What are you making, Fran? Um, uh, hmm, pink paper, scissors, glue, are you making a mask with fangs? Oh boy, looks like this guy has no idea what he's looking at, but you and I know exactly what he's doing. It looks like a little rounded back to me. No, it's a big pink nose. Ooh, it looks like a paper butt. Ooh. <laughs> Everybody thinks it's hilarious, a paper butt. Well, you can tell they're monsters. But Bunny, leave it to Bunny to know exactly what is going on. This is a heart, everyone. When you love someone, you cut out one of these and you give it to them on Valentine's Day. So Sandy checked the calendar. Let's say it's February, okay, the first, and then there was the whole first week, and then the second week. Oh, see that? The heart on the 14th. Do, do, do you think that Fran is in love? <gasps> dun, 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 dun. Terror all over their faces because what is truly monstrous to a monster? Love. Wait, what is love? It sounds gross. That's when two people feel all mushy mushy about each other. Ew! Mushy mushy! I think I'm choking on something. Ooh, I'm scared. Oh, hold me, hold me. And then, when they get more in love, they flutter their eyes at each other. Ooh, flutter like butts. No, probably more like butterflies. Don't drag me into this. Wow, that is a fierce monster butterfly. I didn't even know those were a thing. But here's the crazy part. When they get really, really in love, they, they, they what? 
yaptı. They kiss on the lips. Look at those faces. Oh, you know what's coming next. Ew! 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 I can't breathe. I can't get something. I can't. I can't. They don't even have words. They don't even have words. I am never falling in love. Love is so yucky. Not just yucky. It's terrifying. Love is making my skin crawl. I didn't even know he had skin. Um, you don't have any skin? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, she's right. Well, at this point, Fran, poor Fran, poor in love Fran. Well, he'd heard enough. Poor thing. It's tough to be a monster in love, especially in that family. So he went outside to get some fresh night air. Look at that beautiful starry sky with the crescent moon the backdrop of the hills and then there's this beautiful little lake and oh, oh well 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 who do we have here hmm looks a little bit like bride of frankenstein and that's when he was reminded that love isn't about being mushy mushy or fluttering your eyes or kissing someone on the lips and it certainly isn't about cutting out paper hearts even though he gave her one. <laughs> it looks like a paper butt. Oh, she is cute. Oh, I think she's a keeper friend. It's about something you feel in your real heart. Even if it does feel a little bit funny sometimes. You know what I think is funny? Oh boy. I think it's really funny. Ha 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 ha. That this is supposed to be a monster story and people are supposed to be terrified and children should be getting eaten and there should be dungeons and torture and a lot more screaming than this. A lot more. And instead, what do we have? What do we have here? Well, we have a moonlit night. <coughs> Uh, and, and we have a, a lovely couple <coughs> and they are looking at the stars. <coughs> I can't stand it. It's too much <coughs> in this story. You mean love? <coughs> That's what I said. Oh boy. Let's um, <coughs> continue again. Frankenstein has an uphill battle in his whole love department. Oh, 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 oh. Do you see this? Do you see this? They're peeking out from inside. Oh, they're looking up. Vlad spotted them. Rabbit, oh, Rabbit's very pro-love though, I can tell already. He's on, on Team Fran. What are they doing? They're, they're talking and staring at the moon. Weirdos. And that is how Valentines celebrate Valentine. Wasn't that just Oogie Boogie? I thought so too. Although, you know who probably didn't approve. I know who you're talking about. Um, no, I wasn't talking about you. You were always talking about me. I cannot believe that you taunt me, taunt me with these alleged monster stories. And then they're just happy and full of love. And you know what? You know what? I am taking your eyeball. No, you cannot have my eyeball. That's my eyeball. No, no, no. I'm going to take it because you just simply do not understand the value of a good eyeball. I bet you're probably not even going to try to make a soup with it. No, I was not going to make a soup with it. See, what did I tell you? I demand your eyeball. Or else. Or else what? Or else I will make you eat my bat stew. Oh, yes. I know how much you love my bat stew. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I am going to give her this because I definitely do not want the bat stew. All right, kid. Uh, see you later. Have a good Valentine's and keep your eyeball ring away from her. All right. See you next time. And ring the little subscription thinking I'm a Bobby Bell so that way you don't miss a single love and story. See you next time.